Good afternoon, dear friends. As I recently has promised, we are beginning to make series of videos on a cold coffee with Alexander Kutlin, storytelling about Chernobyl. We will film videos at our flat. We are at hallway right now. There is a small part of object shelter. Behind my shoulder, you can see a main plate which some time ago was on the administrative building of object shelter, what was a separate subdivision of Chernobyl NPP. But upon change of departmental management, main plate was substituted and I was lucky to take this one corner. Coffee is to be made at our kitchen with different flavors, different stories. Hope you will like it. Let's go! By the way, there is a masterpiece of my daughter over here. She had visited to us, started the work, and is supposed to come on May holidays to finish her creation. Here is photo studio, where we from time to time work separately or together on various creative doings. And finally, the kitchen where we will make coffee. Let's continue here. I have five says. I got to like coffee since I come to Slovakish. It was in 1988. I had neighbor Valentin Petrovich Richko, no longer alive, rest in peace. At that time, he was a manager of radiation protection department, who actually hired me in April 1988 when I was passing medical check in Kiev. Once I asked Valery when he was visiting us, teach me how to make coffee, what I need for that. He simply answered, Sasha, don't steal coffee. This recipe I'll remember all my life. But my first sets, which I really got to like, I bought in 2007. We went with my parents to Soroshinska Yarmulka. Then I saw black clay. It's even embracing to admit. First time in my life I saw product of black clay. What is it? It has so strange hair, with cap, with small dish, to place on it like this. All told, I was charmed. Today we are making coffee just in this says. It's already old, but still functionable. What do we need in order to make coffee? Namely, coffee. I store coffee in the refrigerator. In such glass can with tight cap, oops, too loud. My coffee grinder is ancient, quite ancient, but not as I am. It still works, and this is the main thing. In general, I don't. I don't like to change things if they are still operational. Put into coffee, bye! When you are making coffee, your feelings are the main guide to identify when it's ready. I'll be silent. Probably it's done. Either coarse or fine grind can be used. As a rule, fine grind is taken to steep coffee in cup. Once of steep coffee, don't take offense. But it's not coffee. It's simply brown drink with light smell of coffee. So, we grinded coffee. Shake. I have such special square-shaped spoon. Teaspoon. It has higher capacity than simple round-shaped one. My cutie. So, for such sets, I put two full spoons with top. 
Everyone chooses own recipe. How much, which type of coffee to use. As for me, I usually use Robusto for the last time. Not pure, but mixed with small percentage of Arabica. Robusta is stronger. If you don't want to fall asleep, drink Robusta. Arabica is more soft, but it's more aromatic and tasty. And maybe because of this, it's more available. Maybe. So, we put coffee. Now I need water. Not less important ingredient. It's like beer depends on quality of water on which it's based. Coffee as well depends. Water in Slavutic is very hard. You're getting used to it. It's clean, good quality, but really hard. Mostly I use filtered water. I'm not filtering it. We have specialized store where you can buy different types of water. Silver rich, silicon rich or just filtered. So there I buy filtered water. Pour. Mix. And usually I choose six sevenths regime of heating. If I need to prepare in the fastest way, then add surging. But I don't like when coffee explodes right ahead. I prefer that it has time to simmer in order to share its properties with water. So we will get that sort of coffee to enjoy after together with you. What I do next? Pitch of salt. But besides this, I like to add different ingredients. And today we will make coffee with green apple. Don't be scared of its look. But it's special green apple. At the beginning of September, previous year, together with Anya, we accept the invitation of our friends to experience ourselves at exclusion zone like stalkers. During three days and a half, we walk 70 kilometers with backpacks through exclusion zone. It was trash. As for me, as a person who had visited object shelter, I was excited. It was really impressive. Night tracks, sometimes through real jungles, jungly railways, at daytime and in darkness, sleeping in abandoned block houses, that's super, just trash. And this Queen Apple I found in Pripyat. At the time I didn't know that it's Queen Apple. I thought it's what interesting fruit and smells tasty. I picked several pieces and brought home. Then it had revealed that it's called Queen Apple. It has such sourish flavor smell. I haven't eaten it, but added it into coffee. It enriches coffee with slightly sour taste, savor. And if to take into account that it's pretty it's Queen Apple, we get coffee with Chernobyl. We cut it. We'll take another knife. Cut off the skin. This green apple is lost. I had nearly 10 pieces. By the way, I am trying to grow these seeds. Don't know what the result will be. We don't put seeds in the coffee. Ready? Need to say that before I hadn't been removing foam on top of coffee in order not to disturb. I thought 
It can destroy taste of coffee. But recently I changed my mind. On opposite, I mixed coffee more often to let grounded coffee particles escape to form. Prepared Queen Apple. Great. So, during the coffee will be prepared, I'll have a seat on our washing machine. From time to time, I need to sit on it during its washing process, when it's jumping like crazy. Let's start about Chernobyl. For me, Chernobyl had started like for others in April 1986. At the time, I had been working at the Porosca MPP at reactor shop as supervisor of force block construction. The project was a good life lesson for me. I decided to requalify into reactor operator since I was the symmetrist at Belayarsky NPP. And I understood that it's not about me. Metalware, pumps, gate valves, nuts, I'm not interested. But definitely I gained some experience. Only there you could enter the reactor cooling pump fluid casing. Where else you could get into main circuit and crawl through it to the main circulation pump? Of course, at the assembly of reactor. Yes, you can. So, not to forget to mix coffee. Oh, minute, minute. Not just understood, but I felt how it's more pleasant to drink coffee at least from such cups, or even better from smaller cups. Better to add one more time, but from smaller one. I started at the Zaporozhka plant at the beginning of April 1986. End of April, Chernobyl disaster happened. At the time, my father was a director of the Zaporozhka plant. At the end of May, he proposed to send me on a mission to Chernobyl. It was lack of dosimetries there. I clearly understand that in such conditions, the symmetries quickly overdose, so turnover is too high. He knew that I liked the symmetry, and I really wanted to go. I agreed, but I hit one problem. My first wife was pregnant at the seventh month. Everything resulted in hysterics, scandal. I was worried about her state. And our firstborn saw that I didn't go. Kirill was born in two months, like it should be. <laughs> On 27th of July, 1986. In two years, winter of 1988, I was at my lovely Zarechny and met with my friend Oleg Medvedev, who had come in from work shift. He said, what are you still doing at the Prussia? We don't have enough those images. We are starting up third block. Come to us. So I inspired. When I had come in, I said to Lena that I am going. She tried to oppose. But I hold firm. On 5th of May 1988 was my first working day at GNPP at third block. From the very beginning, working at third block, which was adjacent to fourth one, I was attracted by object shelter.
and how to feel when you are so close you see the door at that time it was a gatekeeper there and permit system you needed to have special note that you pass that you are allowed to go inside by the way the interest of third block had the permit note by a default because later we had to take measurements uh, of aerosol environment but it was just semi-occupied area with drilling installations i wanted to go directly to central hall sometime in autumn 1988 closed winter oops it's starting need to take down one of the advantages of clay says it keeps temperature very well comparing to metal one any brass cooper Ceramic says keeps coffee hot for a longer time. It settled, slowly pour into. Thanks to pot and top milk that was added. We received such a beautiful picture. Finally, we can enjoy the drink we have made. And continue. So, at autumn of 1988, I had a chance to get into object shelter at the first time. Larry Shongro, who was a radiological safety engineer and who regularly was visiting object shelter, suddenly needed a partner. The truth is that it is scary and dangerous to visit object shelter alone. It is better to have a partner. He was performing photographic survey, taking a lot of pictures. At that conditions, cameras were covered with lead foil, thin plates, film, lead containers. So he had needed a partner. And finally he agreed to take me with him. And what was the after and which lesson I received from Object Shelter during my first tour? I am going to tell in my next video. When I'll use another set, make different type of copy, then I tell in more details. Bye!